Hello, hello. Welcome for a new, like always, daily ASMR video. Well, let's imagine today German people with odd behavior, right? Doing strange things, funny, most of them. And uh, I managed here to gather something that it's based on stereotypes, German stereotypes, related to maybe odd things. Well, and we're going to start with the first one, which is try to imagine Germans timing everything. Because time, it's the most precious thing in Germany. Well, like, imagine they using stopwatch to time how long it takes to eat a breakfast, a lunch or a dinner. And how long they are feel stressed every day. Well, and try to imagine making statistics with time and performance for each of the timing schedules. <laughs> yes, sounds German, right? Because they are most of them obsessed with performance and timing. Another one, quaying for everything, even at the beach, they form an orderly row, okay? The water waked in their turn to swim. Right. You know that Germans are obsessed with recycling things, which is not a very bad idea. Well, but try to imagine Germans sorting trash, each trash, household trash, in 15 different categories, including emotions and bad decisions, because they want to do it right in the right way. <laughs> or try to imagine Germans clapping on autobahn each time they overpass another car and cheering after safely arriving to the destination. <laughs> yeah. But what it will be the most weird thing is try to imagine Germans driving with 90 kilometers per hour or 80 kilometers per hour on autobahn for safety reasons. Well, because we know that autobahns in Germany or highways don't have speed limits. Right. Try to imagine Germans wearing socks with sandals everywhere, even in the garden. Not just cowsly, proudly, even at the fancy dinner, or at the parties, or gardening. <laughs> well, but let's try to imagine Germans writing formal complaint letters to their neighborhoods or to their neighbors about their lawn being with two centimeters too long by singing off, signing off the letter with mit freundlichen Grüßen or with kind of regards. <laughs> Yes, but how about them measuring everything, everything, for
For example, try to imagine a German that is traveling across the world with a ruler or bringing a ruler to a restaurant to make sure the schnitzels are the same size as it, they were advertised in the menu. <laughs> yes, try to imagine that. Or oh, the apple apples are the right size, like in the catalog. Well, because it's Germany, it's the country of punctuality. Well, try to imagine Germans applauding when the trains arrive on a time, standing up and give applause every time the Deutsche Bahn is on schedule. Deutsche Bahn. Which is almost never. <laughs> well, they have a lot of problems with the trains in Germany, believe me. Well, I went there and they have big overtime late. So, they're leading a lot. But how about Germans uh, celebrating Oktoberfest multiple times per year? Hosting like many Oktoberfests in January. How about that? Because you can never have too much beer. <laughs> well, you know that they are very addicted, like can say, with organizations. But try to imagine Germans over-organizing their own vacation. Vacation. Having daily itineraries before the vacation with one month with 50 minutes precision for each time at visit at the museum that they're gonna visit in the vacation and leaving no room for relaxations. Right. <laughs> But how about them over-explaining the same rules on board games, spending hours making sure everyone understands every, every bit of rule before starting the game? Nobody will care, but the chairman must make sure that everything is right. All right. Well. Well. Next, it's coffee drinking ritual. Sitting silently and not making eye contact with. Slowly stirring coffee for three minutes straight. Because for Germans, this is a sacred moment of reflection. And try to imagine Germans avoiding small talk. Small talk, small talk. Well, they're, for example, reaching maximum anxiety when forced to engage in a small talk and escaping pretending that they had urgently need to check something or reorganize the furniture. But how about them celebrating punctuality? Yeah. Like throwing punctuality parties where people give each other awards for showing exactly on the time at some meetings in their entire year. All oh, right, <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> And the last one, try to imagine Germans discussing weather and forecast like it's a national crisis, taking weather prediction so seriously 
that a sunny day without rain causes nationwide conference to discuss low, unusual and disruptive forecast. <laughs> oh my god. Well, of course, what I presented here, there are some humorous exaggerations, of course. But these are based on German stereotypes, organizations, punctuality, performance, perfect timing. Well, every culture has its quirks, and Germans are often humorously, uh, comically portrayed as ultra efficient rule following and punctual yes and that's the whole charm of this ASMR session thank you very much for watching of course feel free to drop some comments below and if you're German feel free to correct me if I I uh, did something wrong and by the way I respect German people so much I love Germany so until next time I can wish you all the best of God